Okay, we left off Lamed and Beis. Okay, the Mishnah tells us that if a Yisrael made an arrangement with a Kohen, Levi, or a, or a foreman, that he'll lend him the money, but only on the condition that he, collect, he, collect, he could collect the truma, the Maiser, or the, Maiser, or the Maiser Oni. So, we say that he's permitted to collect, to take the truma, he ties the truma, and he takes the truma as payment of the debt. The Maiser is payment of the debt, and the Maiser Oni as payment of the debt. What should be if the person should die? Since we say the poor man, so we say the Yorshim, if they're in agreement, then he could take their portion. Because they, they agree to, pay, to cover the debt of their father, although they have no obligation. So Rebbe says, Time Rebbe Oma Yorshim, She Yorshim. When we say you, you address the Yorshim, the heirs, he says, the heirs that inherit. So the more heirs, Miki Yorshim Blow Yarsi, after then they, they don't inherit, they're not heirs. You're only an heir if you her, inherit. Elo Biochanan, Shi Yorshu Karka, Belo Shi Yorshu Sofi. The heirs that inherit fixed property and not movables. So Rashi explains why. Because if it's fixed property, there's a lien on the property. Okay? So because of lien on property, so the heirs are attached to the father, to the debt of the father. So as a result of that, if they're agreeable, you could take their portion of truma, miser, or maisoni, for what? In place of the of the debt, as payment of the debt. But this is where we learn that? This is where we learn that, that the working of land is, they are responsible for the No, 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 no. Well, if the debt is, if the land is leaned, right? So that you could collect from, from that. No, no, it leaned. Right, right. Wait, wait. So then you could collect... It, so if they say, take the truma instead, we'll see in a moment. Because the question is, what is the value of the land? Let's say it was a $1,000 loan and the land is worth $5. Is that sufficient? Or do we say no? Right? See, if the land itself is worth the, the loan, so we say the land is the equivalent of the father. Because that debt, the lien that it's attached to the land... Is, is if that is, is that that's a representation of the father being the borrower, so they have. But if the land itself doesn't cover the the, the loan because the lien is, is 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 just a fraction of the debt, then not. not so that's the argument. That let's say it was worth. He left over a piece of land which was no more larger than a than a machat than a, a needle. You could only be Govim Ali Machat. You could only collect in Truma the value, that, the value of that, that amount of Truma. Or the value of the land of that amount. Moli Kardum. Moli Kardum means a much larger, it's a much enormous piece of land. Govim Ali Kardum, then you collect the full debt. Rabbi Yochanan Afilo Hiniach Moli Machat, Govim Moli Kardum. Even if you left over a, a, a very a minuscule piece of land, you could collect the full debt. As the incident, there was a story, a person, Katina Dabai, what was the story? Like this. Let's say a person lends money and he comes to the heirs and says, you know, the land is linked to the debt. So the Yorshim, they say, you know something? We're going to pay you off. They could do it. I mean, they says, I want the land. It's a real one. Lean is only that if you don't pay the debt, the, the lender has a right to come after the property because there's a lien. But let's say the person who owns the property wants to satisfy the lien. He has a right to satisfy the lien. So listen to the story. There was a piece of property that was worth $100. The debt was worth $10,000. So the heirs, they say, we'd like to retain the property. So the lender says, no problem. They give him $1,000. Okay. He says, you know something, but there's, there's a balance on the lien, on, on the original loan. He comes back, and he kept coming back until the loan was fully satisfied because the lien was still attached until it was fully paid off. So the same thing with Machat. Even though, let's say, it's worth $5. But since, that, what are they doing? They're satisfying the father's debt, so you take Truma. 
But fact is, factually is, but if the truma doesn't cover the debt, the land is not enough to cover the full. But, and the land itself is a fraction. But since, even if you pay it off, the lien remains on the property, and it can be done multiple times until the, de- until the debt is, is satisfied, so therefore, even if it's worth, the land is a fraction of the debt, but that land can always be a representation of the father to the full value of, of what? Of the loan. Therefore, even Smolimach, it's similar to the story of Ketina Dabaye, that because multiple times the person come back and collect from the piece of property until the full value of the debt is satisfied. Wouldn't, wouldn't uh, the uh, borrower say, I will pay you? You know, you're coming for this. You mean these, these, are, these are the heirs. The heirs, these are your Yeah, the heirs. Wait, well, Tosis, Tosis addressed this. Wait, 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 Tosis. Oh, good, 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 good. What you're saying is correct. So Tosis says, he but. Doesn't want this to happen. Wait, wait. But what, let's say the heirs said, look, you know something? We're happy. We want the land. But if you could come back multiple times, we're not interested. So they could pay him on the condition that he disappears after the first payment. They have a right to do that, and he can't come back. Cannot come back for, for the balance. Right. So Tosis, what? So take the land. You, then you're only collected fraction. He doesn't want the land. He wants to get paid. But then they're not fools. They say, you know something, if we're, you're going to continuously come back... So they could say to him, you know something? Either you take and disappear, or take the land. We're not interested, because what are we accomplishing here? You're gonna, they're going to they're going to pay multiples of the value of the land. It's not worth their while. So Tosa says, although they could do that, it's called Saluki Masalki. They just remove him. But because that, if they wouldn't say that, he could come back multiple times. So the Takona, they they legislated in regard to that there should be money available to the poor man or to the Kohen and to the Levi that since that is possible that he could come back multiple times if he doesn't remove the the, 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 the creditor so they, the Takana was that even if it's worth a fraction of the, of the, of the loan mm-hmm. the heirs could satisfy the debt although the debt is multiples of the land that, that's, that's why they structured the Takona that way. Since theoretically it's possible that even when you have a small amount of property, which is a fraction of the, of the, of the loan, value-wise, of the debt, it, you could, it could still be attached to the full debt. It could be. Therefore, they said, it, if, as long as the father leaves a representation of the debt, you, the creditor could work out with the children uh, a payout for the Maisa Oni. Or for the truma, or for, or for the for the miser. You follow me? But again, I understand that. But again, the children want the land. It's not put money out of their pocket. They're, they're giving truma miser on these endless miser on out there, right? So he said, let's say the father leaves nothing. The children cannot make this arrangement. There has to be a, re- a, a representation of the father, even beyond his life. So if there's the lien, the lien, that represents the father. But, so that was the discussion. What about if the lien is a fraction of the debt? So how much is rep- representing the father? So that, Rabbi Yochanan says, does, even if it's a fraction of the debt, since multiple times you come out back and pay off the debt until it's satisfied, so Tosa says, but factually, anybody who's going to pay off is going to pay when it's a fraction, he's going to tell the, the, the creditor it's a, it's a one-time payment. If you're going to come back more than once, I'm not interested. Well, they'll, they'll pay the $10. They'll, 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 they'll pay enough because the land will not And they said, take, take the truma, take the miser, take whatever you want. It's, it's, it's not a problem. But they don't have to do that, right? No, they have to be agreeable. No, says the Yorsham have to be agreeable. That they want. There's a small piece of, he owes a thousand dollars. A small piece of land was a hundred dollars. Right? And the and the Yorshans say, um, we're giving up you get the hundred dollar piece of land, bye bye. What happened after that? Well, no, it doesn't make a difference. What do you mean? What doesn't make a difference? And he, he's agreeable to disappear. No, he, he wants his full loan. So then he could take from the Truma and he could take from the Miser. He can. He can. He can. He can. All he that representation of a piece of right. land. Right. And there, no matter how much it's worth. How little it's worth. How little it's worth. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Correct. It's not money out of their pocket, you understand? It's, they're not actually paying. They, they legislated, we want to encourage people to lend poor people. 
if the man is always going to be in a situation where he's going to be he's going to be compromised, people aren't going to lend. Right. So they said, you know something, you could collect truma as payment. You could collect miser only as payment, or miser as payment. So the Gemara says that's only what happens if he dies. So the arrangement between the lender and the borrower, the arrangement doesn't doesn't stand any longer. Because the land has yeah, the they can't. Well, they can't say it if, if there's land left where there's a lien on the property. They can't say that. Well, what about the land? Let's say the land is a fraction of the, of the of the debt. That's that discussion. They they still they still he still could collect more than. Right debt. Payment. Right? Year after year after year. Well, it depends uh, what the father... No, it depends. Let's say he says, this year, coming year, the tru- you could collect from Truma. That was the original... Ra- whatever the arrangement was between... Whatever the arrangement was, he could say uh, two years' worth of Truma. Right? Whatever the arrangement, the, the agreement was between the father and the lender. But what if that arrangement comes out to 20 cents on and the year is up, and he can't collect more than twenty cents on dollars. So it's over. That's so we had the case. The Let's say the, the, he said over. originally he said the truma that I tithe that will be paying to, for the debt, and the coin who's the borrower says I'm in agreement. So it's locked in. He could take. He doesn't have to give the truma to the coin. He could take the truma as payment. Tithes. He takes that truma as payment for the for the loan. What happened that year? It was a poor crop, and it only satisfied a fraction of the debt. He, he loses because that was the agreement. You, the payment is whatever you tithe of your truma this coming year. So if there's less, it comes less of that. There's more, it comes the whole debt. So remember, there's no land. Let's say there's no land, there's money. So the Yorkshire has an option. They could be, if they, they want to. They don't, so the, the lender loses out automatically because you're going to say no. I mean, you're going to have to say anything. They can say bye bye. Sure. Well, that was a chance he took. But but with a little tiny piece of the hand, though. Because there's still a representation of right, the father. So there's, they, what they have is attached to the father. You would think that the lender would ensure that he, at least he has... He that's the, that's, the, piece that's the lender's prerogative. The lender does what he wants. You know, let's say a lender lends money and it's not a documented loan. Aren't you be smart? Have, be documented. You'd be able to collect from, from, from properties even if it's sold off. Yeah. Why didn't you? That was your, either that you didn't want to bother wasn't worth your while because it was a small amount of money, whatever it was. This is what we call a kasha for Misa and why. Okay. Toner Abonon. Yisrael Shema Lelevi. A Yisrael says to a Levi, Masi Yishlech Biyodi. I have Misa. He says, I have Maser that belongs to you, which I'm in possession of, which I'm planning to give to you. We don't have to be concerned that it's true Maser. Now, l- let's talk like this. Let's say you have, um, the Gemara has a Shaila, has a discussion in the Durham, we say, if I want to purchase a gift for a person, unbeknown to him, and when I purchase the gift, I have a mind. I purchased on behalf of, of Ruvain. Ruvain knows nothing. Ruvain never actually appointed me as his agent. Nevertheless, when I purchase it, immediately it belongs to Ruvain. It, it, why? Because I'm the equivalent of Ruvain. Because I'm the equivalent of his agent. Okay? That's Zochel Odom Shalobafonov. Right? You bring married to a person, unbeknownst him. What about, is a question, this is the Morris question in Dorim. Ruvain has untied grain, and Shimon has untied grain. And Ruvain, now, and now Ruvain, Shimon wants to tithe from Ruvain's grain on his behalf. Can he? He's not able to. We had earlier. Because you have to be a shliach. You have to be an agent. You cannot tithe somebody else's grain unless you're his agent. So if you were appointed as an agent, you could tithe. If you weren't appointed, you can't. What about... By I have grain, which is all we both have untied grain, mm-hmm. and I'm going to tithe for my grain, untied grain, on behalf of his untied grain. So they're both 
they're both tevil. They're on the same level. There's an obligation. Both have to be tithed. That's considered an achiv al achiv. He's taking from something that you're obligated to tithe for something that you're obligated to tithe. So, I'm, so if, let's say he gives me permission to do that. I could tithe. I could take the percentages that he has taken from his, so I take a double percentage, double amount from mine, and his, all his wheat is chulin. Therefore, he has full profit. He has to give away nothing. If I want to take miser for mine, I'll take an extra 10% for mine, which would be equivalent of his 10%. He does not have to take miser from his, from his, from his harvest. I'm gifting it. I'm doing you a favor. What, what difference is paying back now? That's called alachiv, chiv alachiv. Let's say you had something growing in a sealed pot, which you only have to tie on a rabbinic level. And had some other grain that grew in the field. And I want to tithe from one on the other, you cannot do it. Because one, you're obligated to tithe on the Torah level, the other is only rabbinical. That's been a chiv Something that you're obligated to tithe on the Torah level, on something that's exempt on the Torah level, you cannot take from one on the other. They have to have, be on an equal level of obligation. Okay? So the Morris says, what about, I want to take for mine, on behalf of my fellow, unbeknown to him, and I say, look, I'm doing him a favor. I'm saving him all these percentages. He'll have full profit that his harvest will all be wuchulim. So Mariah says, Shai, look, can you do it? Can you? Why? Because even though he says, who said the man wants to forfeit the mitzvah? Maybe he wants to, he's, it's worthwhile for him to have less profit but, it, but at least he has the mitzvah because it's considered he wants to tithe it himself. So therefore, that's the negative side that it may not be a full schus. But it's a question. I have to be agreeable. The whole idea is because we say with certainty, you're my shliach. And th- there's no anansadi because of that. That's the question. It may not be an anansadi. It's not certain that he would want you to represent him. Therefore, and the Gemara leaves it unresolved. The Gemara leaves it unresolved. The Gemara in, in the Dorit. Okay? Now, so this is the, the we're told, but it has to be chiv al chiv. So let's say a Yisrael says to a Levi, I have miser. Now, a Levi, when he receives the miser, he has to take 10% of what he receives to give their coin. It's called Trumas miser. Okay? So the Yisrael says to the Levi, by the way, you know, I have miser that's really yours, and um, I'd like to purchase it from you. Mars going to explain it. I'd like to buy it from you, and I want to retain. The lady has more than enough. He's not even interested. So he's agreeable. He'll take the cash. He'll take the, the value in money. And, but the lady himself has miser, which he didn't tie to take Shuma's miser. Okay? Now, the Yisrael, after he has the miser, let's say he purchases it, and it's his now. The Yisrael has to take Shuma's miser. Right? Because he can't be better than the lady. Let's say he would have given it to the lady, the miser. He has to take 10% to give to the coin. So now that the, the miser belongs to the Yisrael because he paid for it, he has to take Trumas miser. Right. Of course, that's the Allah of miser has to be tied. No, no, no. Whoever owes, let's say you inherit miser from your, from your grandfather who was a levy. And your grandfather didn't take Trumas miser yet. You're Yisrael. You have, if you want to benefit from it, you have to, take you have to first take 10%, <coughs> give it to the coin, and then the miser is, is free and clear to, for you to, to eat or we'll do what you want with it. Okay? So now, let's say the Levi goes and says, unbeknown to the Israel, he has miser, which he hadn't yet tithed. And he says, let the miser in the possession of the Jew not be the trumas tr- maser for my miser that I have in, in my possession. Mm-hmm. So let, come, it be, let it be trumas maser. Okay. So they're both chiyuv. The miser which the Israel has, trumas maser wasn't taken yet. The Levi may also have miser, which hadn't been tithed for trumas maser. So let's say that after he informs him that I have Misa that's rightfully yours. That means to so the Levi, if he chooses, to, and he has Misa which he hasn't tied yet, the 10%, he could say, let the 10% that I'm obligated be the, the Maser, the grain that's in the possession of the Jew. So all that becomes Shumas Maser. Right? So we're not sure. So the Gemara is going to say, even if he pays for it, maybe the Levi had already made it into Trumas Meiser, so is he permitted to eat it? Let's suspect maybe the Levi had preempted the Jew. Once it becomes his, he can't do it anymore. 
uh, prior to paying the money, he already designated his Shumas Meiser, so now even though he pays, he's going to think that he'll take this to his own 10%, and it's free and clear, but it may not be. Of course, wait one second, because the Levi already had designated the mm-hmm. full Meiser to be Shumas Meiser. So the Bryce is going to make, make a differentiation. The Bryce is going to make a differentiation. Let's say the Israel did not share with the Levi how much Meiser he has, because Shumas Meiser is 10%. Let's say a person wants to take Meiser through estimation. You can't. You have to exact, of course, it has to be exactly 10 You can't give 11%. You can't give less than 10%. It has to be that. So let's say he says, I have Meiser. I have grain that's right for his Meiser. We don't have to suspect that the ladies know anything because the lady doesn't know exactly. He can't use that Meiser to absolve his Meiser from Truma's Meiser because it has to be 10%. But let's say he says to him, I have a core. He gives him an exact amount. I have a core of Meiser. So if he knows it's a core and he knows the volume, so now he says, okay, you know something? That'll go towards the 10% of the true Meiser you have to give to a Kohen. If that's a problem, if that is the case, the Israel is not really sure that what he has now is not true Meiser. If it's true Meiser, he has to give away everything. And even if he chooses to take another 10%, it doesn't help him any. Because already was designated by the Levi as true Meiser. It's so irrelevant what he says. You have to still suspect. Uh, would the Gemara ask a question? The Gemara is out of If the man is is, is is taking money for it, evidently he's not dishonest. Always oh, speaking about corrupted, uh, evil people. I mean that, that's that's a, that's 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 being totally dishonest. The Gemara says that. Therefore, the Gemara says that can't be shot because we're not talking about people who are showing. Out of Rishiaskino, think people who are showing. They're not showing. People are honest. If honest, there's no reason to suspect it. So why can't he? We'll see the Gemara in a moment. But this is the case. Yisro Shama Levi Masi Eshlech Biyodi. I have Maser that belongs to you. Echosh Lechumas Maser Shbo. We don't have to suspect that when he purchased. We'll see the moment. We don't have to suspect that the Masi has has any relevance to Chumas Maser. So therefore, we'll see. Kor Masi Eshlech Biyodi. He says, I have a course. He's telling him the volume. I have a core Maser, an amount. Choshin l'chumas maser. We have to be concerned. It may be chumas maser. So versus Michael, what, 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 what are we talking about? Why in one situation I don't have to be concerned, and the other I have to be concerned? Am Rabbi Yehochi Kamar. Rabbi interprets the brayse this way. This is what the brayse say. Yisroel shall believe maser shall be yodi. The hail is I have maser that's rightfully yours. I'd like to purchase it, and I take the money, and I'll, I want to purchase it. And choshin shema also chumas maser al mokom we don't have to suspect that the Levi had designated the Maser as Chumas Maser to absolve his own Maser, which he has to take Chumas Maser from. Because this is Chiv al right? They're both obligated, and he has Maser from other people who had given him. What about if he says, Kur Masi Eshlov Biyodi, Vail Ludobov? He gives him the volume, it's quantified in volume. Choshishem also Chumas Maser Mokomachem. We have to suspect, since he knows exactly how much Maser is his, so he used that as the 10% to absolve his own Maser to give to the coin. And Rashi explains that even if now the Yisro would take Trumas Maser, it's not going to help him. Because whatever he has is, is, is Trumas Maser. Because the lady already had designated that grain, knowing the volume, as the 10% to absolve his own 10% from the grain that he has. Yeah. We suspect. It's not a presumption. We suspect maybe he did that. Maybe the lady did that. Samar says, Oh, the Rishi Askino. The Shakli Domi, Mashli, Chumas Maso. I mean, you're selling it. I mean, if you're selling it, so why take money? If you use if you use that Masa to, to, to convert it to Chumas Maso, to what, what, did he, what did he just throw by? He bought nothing. Because what he has, he has to give to a coin. Right? So, are we speaking about dishonest people? And the Yisrael is going to end up eating something which he's not permitted to eat. He's going to end up eating chuma. He takes the money and what? The, the Levi and he, he, he converts it into chuma's master. It's not possible. That cannot be what the Bryce is saying. We suspect the Levi for doing such a thing. This is, I mean, this is unconscionable what he's doing.
But you don't know which one he did. So we had this machlok Rashi and Tosis. Now, what are we speaking about over here? He says, "I have maser, I have maser, and I want to purchase them." Now, how did this maser become the Yisraels? I become the ladies. If the Yisrael paid for it, let's say Yisrael already paid for it. So if he paid for it, and the Yisrael has the maser in his possession, the lady can't can't convert it. Anymore. It's not his, right? You can only convert maser that belongs to you into chumas maser. You have two levium. One lady says the master, the other lady has. Should I want to convert that to master? You can't convert it. It's not yours. Monetarily, you have to own it. So if the Israel, let's say he gave the money to the to the to the lady already, do we have to suspect he'll do it afterwards? It's the, he, even as much as he wants, to, he can't, because the chotzer of the, the domain of the Israel acquired the, the master, right? Let's say it's in his in his in his house or in his courtyard. The courtyard acquires on his behalf. So the moment he pays, we say, let's say the master will be elsewhere, not in his his domain of the of the purchaser. We rule most anacolos, right? On a rabbinic level, even when you purchase something, the object is not yours. The master is not yours, right? Rabbinically, even on a Torah level, giving value is considered a full acquisition. But there was a takon; it was a special enactment to protect the buyer. Until you take possession of the object, we don't see it as yours. I mean, the seller is not permitted to back out. But factually, if anything should happen to it, the purchaser has no liability whatsoever. Right? Because, to protect them, because what would, what would be if there would be a fire after the, the seller receives the money? He'll, he says, let it burn. I, got my, I have my money, and the, 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 the consumer is helpless. Who's, 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 who's watching mm-hmm. out for the consumer? So therefore they say, when does the transaction take place? It's only once the buyer takes full possession of what he purchases. Right? So over here, the Yisrael the pays the Levi Miser. Let's say the Miser is not in the domain of the, of the Yisrael. The Levi, although he received money, could convert the Miser into Chumas Miser. He could. Because the Israel didn't acquire it yet. He has Maser. He has Maser. And he calls up the lady and says, I'd like to buy it. And he gives, and he gives the lady the money. And the Maser is not in the domain of, this, of, the, of the one who gave the money. It's in a warehouse somewhere. Wherever it is. He has it stored in a, in a, on, on, in a location which is a ownless lo- lo- location. I Meaning he hasn't yet purchased it. He hasn't acquired it yet. Of course, the Maser was originally harvested from his field, but the moment you tithe it, now it's mum and Levi. It belongs to the Levi. So now you have to, you have to acquire it. He pays money. He didn't, he didn't lose possession. He never had possession. Never had possession. Now he pays... This is the farmer. This is the one who tithed it. So before he receives the money from the levy, it's no question. The Masa can be in his domain. It's not his. It belongs to the levy. It belongs to the levy. It leaves. Tevel fully belongs to him. The moment you tithe it, Maser, it's immediately transferred to the levy. To Levium. Immediately. No, no, no. Levium. 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 No, it belongs to Levium. To Shevet Levy. Masa belongs to Shevet Levi. Okay. It may not be any... Pi- no, now there's a separate mitzvah to give it away. Now there's a mitzvah to give it away. Now it's a mitzvah to give it away. But he ha- if he hadn't yet given it away, the Masa that he has in his, si- in his granary, whose Masa is it? So it belongs to the Levi, even though it's your granary. Right? It's in, in your uh, silo. It doesn't make a difference. What you have in your silo belongs to the Levi. Now he pays the Levi money. What happens to that grain if it's in your silo or in your granary? It becomes yours. How did it become yours? Because it's in your possession. Even though most Enochonists, when you give the money, the transfer doesn't take place immediately, but that's, you've taken possession. Right? So, Tosis learns, the Gemara's question was, before the Gemara says, oh, we have Rishoyim, you mean to say, the man is that dishonest? I mean, before he, he received, before he received, the, before he receives the money, the grain in the granary belongs to the Levi. 
It's only once the money is received, now he acquires it with his granary, with, with, the, with his domain, with his chotzer. Correct? So therefore, I think Mara says, but even so, is the man that dishonest? He receives the money and then he turns it into Trumas Maser. I mean, he turned Trumas Maser before he received the money. He shouldn't have taken the money if he already turned it into Trumas Maser. Rashi learns the case that after he receives the money, he turned it into Trumas Maser. Zatosis asks, Zatosis asks, but factually, if he already acquired it, uh, how, does he, how could he convert it to Trumas Maser? It's not his. The Maser is not his any longer. That's Tosis Kasher and Rashi. So they learn it speaking where it's not in his domain. It's not in his domain. No, taking the money, the Yisrael didn't require it yet. And therefore... It's not the ladies, but it's not the Yisrael. It's the ladies. It still is, but the money didn't cause the transfer yet. Because rabbinically, they, 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 rabbinically they invalidate the transfer. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. The Kenyan momon is not effective until the person takes possession. The he does own it. He does. He does own it. Does own it. Does he does own it? He still owns it. If I sell you a loaf of bread and you point to it, I want that loaf here in a bakery, and you give me the dollar or whatever it cost. Until that the counter person gives you that loaf of bread although you point it and he says this one I will sell to you that loaf of bread is not yours and if the owner of the bakery takes that bread and says Arei Mukhtesh to a woman to Mekadashir she's married to the to the, the, to the baker not to the purchaser of the bread but, but the person point I'm buying has the money until the person takes delivery of the bread not his bread so until the Israel takes delivery of the Maser Although he paid for it, it's still the levies. It's the original owners. Okay, finished. So that's Tosa's question. So, Tosa, so we have to say, it's speaking that it's not in the domain of the of, of, of the of the Israel at the moment. Otherwise, he per, he acquires it immediately. The moment he gives the money, he acquires it. Okay. So we, we have a difficult. What's the price is speaking about over here? Money hasn't transferred hands. Money transferred hands. You, transfer you pay the counter person the, the value of the bread so that you buy. Money transferred hands in addition to the pointing. A addition to the pointing. And that isn't considered a purchase yet. It's not a purchase yet. Even, until though money even though the money was given, until you take possession of that loaf of bread, the bread is not yours. So the money part of it doesn't accomplish. Because rabbinically, they actually invalidated a monetary purchase to protect the consumer. What would be the counter person picks up the bread and drops it on the floor and it causes it to become inedible? The counter person says, you know, it's, it's your loss, it's not our loss. You want another loaf, pay again. Could he say such a thing? Can't say it. Can't say it. The seller is fully responsible for the object until it's taken possession, till delivery to the buyer. We're talking where money is given. Where, where money is given. Yeah. Where money is given. This is to protect the, se the buyer. But in actual, according to the rice, it works. It's, it's transferred immediately. It's that is. It's so, but they, 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 they have to be the have to they invalidate the, tr the that transfer to protect the consumer. But the seller, if he should want to back out, he's subject to a curse of chazal. Because let's say he was, after he sells it, all of a sudden somebody offers him a higher price. So he wants to back out. The moment. It, the money is transferred. It's locked into that potential that to that buyer, although it's not his. Elomer Mishar Shabreid Ravidi Hochi Komer Yisrael Shama Leben Levi Maser Lo Avicha Biyadi. Your father has Maser. Hail Rodomov. And I want to purchase the Maser of your father. And Choshi Shem Also Aviv Shumas Maser. Amokamach. We're not concerned that the father had made it. So the father never received money for it. So maybe the father had made it. Trumas Maser. You don't have to be concerned. Maybe he did it. Why? Because since it, was, it wasn't a quantified amount, he definitely did not. What about, he says, Kur Maser Lovich Abiyodi, Velich Domov. So the son's doing nothing. The son's not doing any conversion. Maybe the father. 
Choshen Sheba also Ovid Shubas Masa Mokham Achir. Here we have to be concerned. Maybe the father had done it. Not the son's taking the money, he did something dishonest. The father, maybe he had done it because he, he was aware. Samaras so said, also, it can't be to be continued.